George, anything uh, did you, Senator, or delegates want to add? Well, I just want to thank you for coming, showing that, you know, your concern about the county and its residents. And as the commissioner said that we are a community, a united community. We do work well together. The county with the municipality, the emergency management does a great job. I've been in contact with the town of Kedison, First Energy, uh, keeping me up to date on what's going on there. Just two quick uh, comments. Uh, America Corley talked about working with DNR to cut trees. You know, we need to get through this red tape. They need to take action now. We've got 297,000 acres of trees in this county. Cutting a couple, going through the red tape when they need it. We should tell DNR, you know, if they got experts to cut them, let them take care of the problem right now without going through all that bureaucratic red tape to get it done. I don't think it's going to impact a whole lot of anything. I thought I turned this off. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the secretary of DNR. <laughs> 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 we get along real well. Is, you have similar concerns down east. We have the same thing here with people stranded with medicines and so forth and so on. The bigger, the bigger concern here is temperature. It's cold here tonight, especially in this time. We still get, as you can see, the flurry comes and keeps adding up. More trees burnt down last night, even when the bottom was melted. Built back, I broke down. So temperature is a big factor here, What's particularly when you're looking at the elderly. They're what under freezing last night. About 30. And it's predicted to be that way, I think, the next couple of days. Warm in the high 30s and then get down to below freezing uh, in, the, in the night. But, and we're uh, still having some winds, too. Yeah, that well, are so we appreciate everything you're doing. Uh, <coughs> people are out working. And we appreciate you sending the guard up and your staff people here. That's great. Uh, we want to work with you, from there, mayors, commissioners, Wendell and I, and everybody else, get this community up and running, which they will, and they'll be in better shape for it when it's done. So thank you. Thank you, Senator. Doug. Thank you so much, Governor. You, 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 you've been very responsive. Your people have been very responsive, and just the fact that you're here is very comforting. You know, mountain people of Mountain, Maryland are, are really self-reliant people, and you can see with the mayors and, and the agencies and how we, everybody pulls together to get through these things, and we've dealt with this before, but really in this storm, it's, it it's kind of goes beyond about anything I've seen, and you know, I've been here most of my life as far as the road closing, the closures, the power outages. It's going to take a while before these power lines are restored. And my neighbors and I went together in the last two days, me with a chainsaw, opened up about a mile and a half county road, or I wouldn't even be out here this, this morning myself. And so people are out there helping themselves, and we tend to do that. But as you pointed out, there are many people that depend on us, and especially the elderly. And so it's comforting to know that we now have people contacting them, trying to get in touch with them, let them know. People are trapped out there in, in the rural areas of the, of the county, and it will take a while to get those roads open and service restored. And, and we we really appreciate the fact that you know we're we're out here and we're and we need help, and you and you're providing it. So thank you very much. Hey, thank you.